Well, welcome everyone. We are uh, firing up the, uh, the evening prayer engine here at St. Peter's. Um, please, if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. We appreciate your presence. And um, on this incredibly beautiful but slightly hot day, um, we give thanks for the opportunity to close um, out this day in worship. So thank you for being here. And um, we will move into live on Facebook now. I will bring us up online. And uh, I hope you guys had a good day. That wasn't rhetorical. I was actually asking, did you have a good day? <laughs> I'm okay now. <laughs> there you go. Okay now is the important thing to say. Okay. <laughs> so. is, that our, this is what we call a ragged beginning, folks. Some, some of you who started watching these now and understand that this is how... This is how we come to it. We're running on two different platforms. So we're live on Facebook now, and then we're tape delayed to YouTube in a, in a few moments. Here we go. We'll be live in a minute. Okay. There we go. Well, welcome everyone to our Facebook evening prayer. Um, we are honored to have you here and uh, welcome you here to St. Peter's. So welcome home. We are also recording this on YouTube and we'll be uh, offering that up later. Um, just as soon as this service concludes, we will upload it to our YouTube channel. So please do like and subscribe. And if you are just finding your way here to our Facebook page, you are most welcome. We hope you uh, like it and sign up for notifications so we can keep you posted about the life of Christ here at St. Peter's. Welcome all, and we'll move into our service now. I thought we'd share a picture of what the church looks like right now as we uh, prepare to begin to start to um, uh, plan for a reopening of our buildings. We're hoping sometime toward the end of July for that, but for now, we continue as the church um, here in this virtual space, and we're thankful for the opportunity we have to gather. So we'll begin evening prayer now. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life, amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalm 89, verses 19 through 52. Please join me by responding with the even verses. Then you spoke in a vision to your faithful one and said, I have set the crown on one who is mighty, 
I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found my servant David with my holy oil. I have anointed him. My hand shall always remain with him. My arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not outwit him. The wicked shall not humble him. I will crush his foes before him and strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and steadfast love shall be with him, and in my name his horn shall be exalted. I will set his hand on the sea and his right hand on the rivers. He shall cry to me, you are my father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will make him the firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. Forever I will keep my steadfast love for him, and my covenant with him will stand firm. I will establish his line forever and his throne as long as the heavens endure. If his children, his children forsake my law and do not walk according to my ordinances. If they violate my statutes and do not keep my commandments. Then I will punish their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with scourging. But I will not remember from him my steadfast love or be false to my faithfulness. I will, not I will not violate my covenant or alter the word that went forth from my lips. Once and for all I have sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David. His line shall continue forever, and his throne endure before me like the sun. It shall be established forever like the moon, an enduring witness in the skies. But now you have spurned and rejected him. You are full of wrath against your anointed. You have renounced the covenant with your servant. You have defiled his crown in the dust. You have, you have broken through all his walls. You have, you have laid his stronghold in ruins. All who pass by plunder him. He has become the scorn of his neighbors. You have, you have exalted the right hand of his foes. You have, you have made all his enemies rejoice. Moreover, you have turned back the edge of his sword, and you have not supported him in battle. You have removed the scepter from his hand and hurled his throne to the ground. You have cut short the days of his youth. You have covered him with shame. How long, O oh Lord, will you hide yourself forever? How long will your wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is, for what vanity you have created all mortals. Who can live, Who can live and never see death? Who can, Who can escape the power of Sheol? Lord, where is your steadfast love of old, which by your faithfulness you swore to David? Remember, Remember O Lord, how your servant is taunted, how I, how I bear in my bosom the insults of the people. With which your enemies taunt, O Lord, with which they taunted the footsteps of your anointed. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord forever. forever. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now many signs and wonders were done among the people through the apostles, and they were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared to join them, but the people held them in high esteem. Yet more than ever, believers were added to the Lord great numbers of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mats in order that Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he came by. A great number of people would also gather from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those tormented by unclean spirits, and they were all cured. Then the high priest took action. He and all who were with him that is, the sect of the Sadducees, being filled with jealousy, arrested the apostles and put them in public prison. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors, brought them out and said, go, stand in the temple and tell the people the whole message about this life. When they heard this, they entered the temple at daybreak and went on with their teaching. When the high priest and those with him arrived, they called together the council and the whole body of the elders of Israel and sent them to the prison to have them bought, brought, bought, brought. 
but when the people when the temple police went there they did not find them in the prison so that they returned and reported we found the prison securely locked and the guards standing at the doors but when we opened them we found no one inside now when the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard these words they were perplexed about them wondering what might be going on then someone arrived and announced look the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then the captain went with the temple police and brought them, but without violence, for they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The first canticle this evening is the Song of Mary. Please join. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Matthew. Then little children were being brought to him in order that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples spoke sternly to those who brought them, but Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. And he laid his hands on them and went on his way. And someone came to him and said, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, why do you ask me about what is good? There's only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He said to him, which ones? And Jesus said, you shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother. Also, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, I have kept all of these. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, if you wish to be perfect, go, sell your possessions, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, then come follow me. When the young man heard this word, he, he went away grieving, for he had many possessions. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle this evening, a song of Christ's humanity. Though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow to heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Please join me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial 
and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people, Let your people sing with joy. joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide, and guide us in the way, way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health, health from all, all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope, the hope of the poor be taken, be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain, and sustain us, us with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. O Lord, make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name. For you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please feel free to offer any intercessions or thanksgivings you may have. Please pray for the uh, state trooper that was ejected from his car in um, an accident in Cranberry. May he, be, may he be swift to recover and may his injuries be as minimal as possible. We pray for the whole human family. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts break down the walls that separate us, unite us in bonds of love, and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised to your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Sorry, I'm, I'm distracted a little bit. Tiffany's asked us to pray for Sean Conroy. So we'll pray for him as well. May he have healing and strength. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining in today. We will reconvene uh, tomorrow on, uh, at 9 a.m. for morning prayer. Uh, please pray for the vestry. They convene in just over an hour, and uh, we'll be taking up our reopening strategies along with some significant projects that are at hand for us. So. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for watching on Facebook. Thank you as well for those who are watching on YouTube. Um, we'll end the Facebook broadcast with a wave and a God's peace. And uh, I will also now end the YouTube and ask everybody to like and subscribe. Please do so, and we'll see you soon. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye now.